There is the school spirit I so fondly remember. No one invited Southside scum to our school. Listen up, ragamuffins. I will not allow Riverdale High's above average GPA to suffer because of classrooms that are overcrowded with underachievers. So please, do us all a favor and find some other school to debase with your hard scrabble ways. Why don't you come over here and say that to my face? Happily, Queen of the Buskers. Okay. Hi, I'm Cheryl Blossom, AKA Cheryl Bombshell, which means I need no reasons. I simply am. Feel free to tremble. I have a better idea. Why don't you tell me what's bothering you? Because clearly, you're in a lot of pain. Get your sapphic serpent hands off my body! Let me guess, some cherry cola for Cheryl Bombshell. My god, what do you want? And why do you keep stalking me? I'm not. I came to see this movie with Fangs and he bailed on me. Are you okay? I'm alone at the movies. And I'm trying to stay away from my mother who has turned our house into her sexual playpen. So no, I am really not. Well, I was gonna go grab a seat alone, unless you want some company, but no pressure. Years. It's almost like I could feel you holding your breath. She said I was deviant. Cheryl, I am so sorry. But you have to know your mother's wrong. You're not loveless. You're not deviant, okay? You're sensational. Mrs. Blossom. Hi, I'm Tony Chavez. I'm a friend of Cheryl's from school, and she's lending me an outfit for the Wolverine. I invited her to be my emotional support. She's a nightmare. Isn't she, though? We distributed equally to... Two amateurs are going to top that, so... Full disclosure. I didn't want to invite all the girls tonight, but I knew my hideous mother would never allow me to invite just you, which is what I craved. Tony. I think they pushed my Nana down the stairs. Cheryl? Are you in here? Tony? We came to rescue you. You did? Tony, even Carrie White could stand up to our mother. Hey, Cheryl, you gotta show your mother who's in charge. I don't know if I can anymore. I'm not the same girl who burned down Thornhill and cut off her oxygen. Sure you are. You're not done playing Carrie, Cheryl. Not by a long shot. You hobgoblin. Like I said, I'm taking Tony and we're leaving. A jacket looks good on you. Everything looks good on me. Well, maybe we should make it official. What you thinking about, babe? Archie Andrews. He saved my life. T.T. What happened that day on the river, Cheryl? We've never talked about it. I lost hope. And I did something really stupid. 
Archie Andrews was there to save me. Well, well, well. Heavy cardstock and valet parking. You don't take the subway to the Met Gala. Hand them out at your discretion. Oh, and Sweet Pea and Fang should definitely be in attendance. Nancy Drew, no doubt. It's glittery. Oh, look at him stay. Something sweet, if you please, I make magic everywhere. Anything you wanted, I got it. Watch me pull it out of my pocket. Wow. Welcome, ladies. I swear. Voila. Just something good for this town. Well, I couldn't have done it without my favorite power couple. Excuse me. Thanks, babe. McCoy. Jones, we have a problem. Your boys went off the deep end and got. We're in her tent having a rendezvous. No one. Help! Help us, somebody help! Your group is stricken. Infected with poison. You, mon petit amour, are officially on bed rest. I've brewed you a pot of vintage Narcissus tea, and our family physician, Dr. Caligari, is on call, should you feel another spell coming along. I'm feeling much better, Cheryl. But what if what happened to me is contagious? Oh, TT. Ship's fever couldn't keep me away. My four-poster bed is your four-poster bed. You can stay here for as long as you like. Even... permanently? You mean like... move in with you? I'm cuckoo bananas for you, Humphy. Won't you move in? As long... as I'm the big spoon. It was time for us to brace for a terrible impact. At burglaries. <laughs> you make an extremely sexy Robin Hood, TT. Stealing from the rich to give to, well, us. You're so crazy. Five weeks since we were cut off from the rest of the world. Blossom, Topaz, break it up. Bite me, Moose. It's one of the new school rules, Cheryl. All physical contact must be kept to a minimum. Well, that doesn't make any sense. There hasn't been any seizures for weeks, and everything tested has come back negative. The RROTC doesn't make the rules, Tony. No. You just enforce them like the crypto fascists you are. Come on, TT. Hey, from the rural horrors of tent city. Well, I don't miss the cold or the mud, that's true, but I don't know. I miss the gang, babe. Oh my God, our SAT scores. I pray mine are good enough for Highsmith College. The women of my family have gone there for generations. I don't intend to break Blossom tradition. Much like Desert Hearts, my score's not perfect, but it's close. How'd you fare, TT? Flawless, as I've always known you to be. <laughs> Since you two have What the hell were you thinking? Just now? About the sweet, sweet revenge I'm going to get on Mumsy. Hopefully with a little help from you and your trusty camera. Oh, shutterbug of my dreams. You just outed Moose. No, I didn't. It was a blind item, Tony. For all anyone knows, I wasn't even referring to him. Moose's father could have heard that announcement. Oh my god, is this our first fight? Cheryl, get some perspective. Did you know that my uncle hated the fact that I dated girls? That's why the serpents were so important to me. They were like my non-judgmental family. And now I don't have them. Tony, I'm sorry. I didn't realize. Of course you didn't. 
because you're too busy being Cheryl, causing chaos regardless of the consequences. Look, babe, I get that you're mad at your mom and you're pissed that you're not going to some hoity-toity college that I could never get into or afford. It's about money. Then she'll just stop and listen to me. High Smith College was your legacy. The serpents were mine. Now they're not. Honey, I'll, I'll fix this. What part? All of it. You are the most important person in my life. I'll do whatever it takes to make all these things right. But I may need your help. What in God's <gasps> name are you Jezebel's doing here? Step down from the Highsmith College Board and revoke your ban on my admittance, or we'll go public with these photos of your sorry clientele club, all of which is consensual. How will your clients feel once we publish their names and photos? Don't test us, Mumsy. We know how to dominate, too. Therefore, I'd like to cede my time to another unquestionably worthy candidate, Ms. Antoinette Topaz, future photojournalist and Nobel Peace Prize recipient. It's a pleasure to meet you, headmistress. Knock them dead, babe. And remember, this is only step two. Uh, yes, please, have a seat. You have your portfolio with you? Yes, I do. <sighs> Wanted to do something for you. Call it step four. What's this? A game. If you want it, you said you were missing having the serpents as a family, so I found some other girls who were looking for support or community or just good old-fashioned fisticuffs. And I thought maybe we could start a new family. Hmm. Cheryl, this is the most badass and romantic thing you've ever done. <clears throat> uh, do we have a name yet? How about the Pretty Poisons? Pretty by day, poison by night. I love it. Nice work, poisons. They have an excellent mentor, T. They certainly do, babe. The serpents needed to know that the pretty poisons are here to stay and that we're not to be trifled with. I said I was going to handle it. The purpose of our gang isn't to air out your petty grievances or to pursue your personal vendettas. It's for protection and community. I was sending a message, planting a flag. Oh, cut the crap, Cheryl. Let me ask you this. Is this gang mine or yours? It's yours, of course. Then never deploy the poisons that way again without asking me. Nah, uh, I think I'll pass. Feeling a little under the weather tonight. Well, see you later. I'll be asleep. Okay. Wanted to be near you till the end of time. But we are older now, and life is different when. Perfect for Quebec, n'est-ce pas? I don't understand. Who's going to Quebec? I thought, since you've been working so hard with the pretty poisons, it might be good for the two of us to get away together. So. I booked us a spring break ski trip to Mont Blanc. Me and the pretty poisons were planning on doing a road trip to Sugar Lake. Fine. We don't have to go to the mountains. We don't have to go anywhere, ever. I'm not saying that, Cheryl. <sighs> Shoot. Sorry, I'm running late for work. Can we talk about this later? Color me shocked. Oh, please. Earlier tonight, you were casing the place. And you wanted me to know it. So, what are you gonna do now? Cuff me? Oh! <laughs>
I think we need to talk about what's going on between us. What is that exactly? I think you have a problem with the poisons because for once I'm in charge of something and you're not. False. I'm upset because you seem to want to spend all your time with them instead of me. Cheryl, I love you. And yet, I can't spend all my time cooped up in that house, in your bedroom. Our bedroom. That's exactly it. It doesn't feel like our bedroom. It's entirely yours, your space. It sounds, Tony, like you regret moving in with me. Well, maybe it was too soon. Too fast. In that case, maybe you moving out is exactly what needs to happen. <laughs> Um, does anyone have a chainsaw? Because what? Um, did you have a lobotomy for breakfast? You're wearing my signature color. You don't own the color red. Red existed before you. Not at Riverdale High. Here? I invented red. I am red. All or nothing. Pure adoration or distilled hate. Thornhill was a den of shadows, and JJ was my only light, and he died, and it was dark again. Until you. And then I felt like you were disappearing on me. But I'm not gone. I'm right here. And maybe it's not too late for us. Now for my favorite part. Blot. Parfait. This color was made for you. We have to get you a tube. <laughs> I'm not gonna let you ruin her. Ruin her? Bitch. I love her. And she loves me. The farm is fulfilling Cheryl in ways you can't even begin to imagine. I find that hard to believe. Have a blessed day. To make a choice. Jason, or you? Is Cheryl Jason's a ghost? I'm right here. You love me. I'm sorry, Tony. I do love you. But I've loved Jason my whole life. I'm not gonna let this happen. There has to be a way you can be with me. And Jason. There is. Are you willing to open your mind to it? Uh, actually, we'll take two, please. Well, well, well. What was off is now back on again. You owe me a cherry phosphate. We're just going as friends. Hmm. In fact, we'll be paying separately. Whatever. Just remember to vote Shoney for Palm Queens, okay? Thanks. Bye. Hey, team. Edgar gave me something better than a queen ship. Humility. I can't wait for mine to be gone, too. Hold on. It's here to treat and banish. But me first, babe. That's right. TT's next in line. For me, the... So, hypnotherapy is a standard therapeutic practice that people pay good money for. And whatever Edgar is doing works. He took my pain away. I can't wait for him to take mine. Okay, but... Get your hands off my girlfriend! Excuse me, you can't... What is What's going on? They're charlatans! What? Not another step! Get up, Tony. Let's go. But my treatment... There's a chance Betty's cries that the sky is falling are true. Look at those instruments of torture. Now, please, can we go? There's a door I snuck Betty in. Lead the way, my Monte Cristo. Stop those girls! This is your only chance at freedom.
coming to save you from the farm. How'd you get out? An angel in disguise. Where's Betty? She's being hunted at Thornhill with all the others. What are you talking about, Nana? Your mother has been preparing for this for weeks, if not months. It's the grand hunt. We have to go there. We have to save them. Poisons! 